Go just got out of bed. <laughs> and just out of bed and she's just doing a video. A book of ideas. Hi and welcome back to Diary of Beauty. Today we are carrying on our top five favourite kind of thang. So down below I'll link our top favourite lip, lip products. products. We have our top five favourite mascaras. It's technically top ten. But oh, top yeah. five has more of a ring to it. you so. get double. Yeah, twice the... So, don't say I'm going to ever treat you. Yeah, so good whatever. to you guys, seriously. <laughs> the first one is the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express, which used to be my holy grail yes, product yeah. for a long time. I still really love it, I've just found other ones that I prefer. But um, it has the brush like this. It just, it gets a little bit clumped sometimes. Like sometimes I put it on and it goes on fine, and then other times you put it on and it like sort of clumps a little bit, which confuses me. But it adds a lot of volume and it adds length too, and I like the packaging, so. Maybelline the Falsies Volume Express Black Drama. Woo, this is my second one. When I don't know what to do or anything, I usually use this because it gives a lot of volume and a lot of definition. If I'm going for a lazy look, but I don't want like a natural, like no makeup look, I usually just put on like the my, a primer and then use this to define my eyes. Like you don't need eyeliner or anything with it. I usually just use that for a lazy kind of thing. Because you do have to work with it a little bit, but an extra layers, it looks amazing. So go Maybelline, go Maybelline. Okay, my next one. Don't know why I keep chanting. Um, a lot of people didn't like, but I really like it. Um, it's the I Rimmel London like Wonderful Mascara with Argan Oil. I just love the idea that it's got argan oil in it and I love the brush because it's like so flexible. It doesn't add volume but that doesn't really matter to me because this is the extreme black one. Um, yeah, some days I don't really care about volume so this one's sort of like, I don't use this every day. I definitely don't use this every day. And also if you put one on top of it, it makes them, that doesn't really lengthen very well and you get really good length and really good volume so works very well for oh, situations yeah, like that. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention about this one. If you put on a mascara, which gives length or whatever, if you literally just put this, that's the brush for I didn't think I showed you. If you just put this, like, push it into like the ends of your lashes, like, closer to your eyeball. Like the roots. Yeah, the roots. Part. The roots of your eyelashes and kind of push it up, it really makes one hell of a difference. Basically, these two together could be really good. Yeah. I couldn't believe it when I did that. I was like, whoa! She's no discovered. No invention here. I'm not invention, but you know what I mean. It's you, by the way. Newfound thing. Bang. 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 Um, L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes So Couture, So Black, So This, So That. So <laughs> Um, this is I didn't like it at first but because it was too I found it too liquidy and too kind of from mascara I was mm. like whoa if I blink now it's gonna go fucking everywhere yeah, transfer it's gonna go it's gonna both go sides. everywhere it's so now it's a bit more dried up I do really like it it doesn't look if you look at the brush it's quite small so it's good for my eyes because my eyes are quite small and the bristles aren't that big so it, I didn't think it would do that much but I do actually quite like it it's not one of my favourites but it is good. It is. Especially because they aren't that expensive. Yeah. Like they're at the higher end of the drugstore. Mm -hmm. Carry on with the L'Oreal theme and the um that was L'Oreal, right? Yeah. yeah. Um and the whole look at it, it's all broken. cracked. Um this one is another one that's like better when it's dried up a little bit. It's the Miss Manga mega volume this is again caused quite some controversy within the makeup world some people love it some people absolutely hate it where's mine but, gone i didn't see that one but basically the thing about this one is that it bends from further up so you can literally get like the most amazing like inner corner because it bends so well like right from the top so you don't have to worry about it getting everywhere else it bends well it bends well that's that's what you need from mascara you need it to bend well <laughs> And also it, g it does give really good volume, which I like. And I really like the packaging, even though I have managed to smash it all up here, so. My next one is number seven, Lash Adapt for Buildable Volume. I think I've talked about this one before because I've had it a while. And actually, our friend described this and she was like, yeah, I haven't, I really don't like it. I was like, that's one I love for ages. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, um... It's this one, it has a fibre brush, it's quite just really simple, 
like it doesn't bend or do anything but it's really good for natural lashes like it does give a bit of length and a bit of volume but it's really good for natural lashes and it does build if you want a good volume it will build not massively but it will do so I really do like this I still go back to it um, okay next one is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Lash Multiply Mascara because it basically just does something as that um, and then it says that this brush, because it's sort of like got the curved, but then it's got shorter here and longer here. This is the latest one, isn't it? Yeah. Lash multiplying brush. Lashes look visibly multiplied and fuller, which I definitely think they do. So, I just really like that. And I really like the colour of it because I'm really into pink at the moment. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you for ruining my, uh, my moment. You. But, um, yeah, I really like it. It's a bit of a mouthful to try and say, though, to be fair. Lash sensational lash. lash. You just said lash. <laughs> <laughs> lash sensational lash multiplying mascara. Oh, yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, it's really good. So take it away. My next one is another favourite. Wait, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> I, I really, hate this one, but I it's just, my second favourite. I really do love all these mascara. I love mascaras. It's probably one of my favourite products. Is mascaras. I think mascara is the first thing you get into. Yeah. Like you, if you whatever it really you buy, does open up your you eyes and first, kind of yeah. liven you up a bit. Okay, so this is the Elizabeth Arden uh, Maximum Volume Mascara Black Number One. I don't know. But again, it's a fibre brush, one of my faves. Of course. Really simple, and it does pick up a lot of product. Oh, have you seen this? You don't, you don't like do that with mascaras. I never knew that because it dries it out, gets air into it. So to pick up product, you twist it, swirl it around, and then pull it out. I still pump, but whatever. <laughs> um, I still pump. <laughs> <laughs> um, this gives volume, like it says, and it gives length. It's better if you use a lengthy mascara first and then put this on because it gives you extra length. But this does everything a mascara should do. It doesn't flake, it lasts for ages, it holds a curl. Well done, Elizabeth. Good job, Lizzie. And I like the name Arden. Okay, my last one is the Soap and Glory Thick and Fast Super Volume Mascara. So, but I really, really like this brush. It's like huge. Oh my god, that is big. <laughs> Jeez. That tube seems so small as well. Yeah, it does. It sort of like see, like pops out, but um, it gets a lot of product, which sometimes is good, sometimes is a bit annoying, depending on how willing you are to work with it. But um, I really like it. It adds a lot. It is very like easy to work with. It's not one of those ones that like you should wear if you want like a super like spend loads of time on it or anything. But it just sort of like it's very quick. It's very. As quick. Lucy likes to say. Your something but better, so that's your lashes but better. Your lashes but better. Yes, okay, so this is another number seven one. I do like their mascaras. You do. Um, I think they are quite pricey for a, a drugstore mascara. They're like, like they... fourteen pound plus, aren't they? Yeah. Oh yeah, fourteen pound. Unless you get those number seven vouchers, which they often give out. Yeah, like three pound off and stuff. Yeah, so that's good. good. Um, I want to try their um, highlighter. Anyway. Um. <laughs> This is a number seven exceptional definition nutrient enriched mascara, um, and it does. I wouldn't say definition. Yeah, actually, I would. Okay, so this isn't a fiber brush, so it's not. But oh, it's yeah. still one of my favorites. It's got it's gone big there. And it's got small. It's gone big there. <laughs> and it's got small <laughs> bristles there. Though, if you can see, can you kind of see like your one of your mascaras? Um, again, I love the packaging. It's metallic again. Um, but this, if you put one coat on, it makes your lashes so long and so kind of, like, kind of like really pretty and fluttery and natural. Um, this mascara gives you length, volume, it gives you everything you need for a mascara and on your bottom lashes it's amazing. Um, you just need to just put on as, as many layers as you want. If I want a really like bold look, I'll put on about four layers of this. Um, so yeah, I do love this number seven. I love number seven. Seven's my lucky number, you know. Do you know why? What? Because David Becker. Okay, so that is our top ten mascaras. Call it top five, though. Just yes. to keep with the top five theme. Five. 
we're going to be doing a top five favorite top five favorite palettes next so watch out for that um and we'll see you next time bye, bye.